To give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. This is a quote by Steve Prefontaine, who gave his very best every single day until his untimely death. This quote exemplifies why he left such an impact on the running world and the entire world as a whole. Steve Prefontaine was an American distance runner who ran any distance from the mile to the, the 10,000. And based on how he ran his races and who he was as a person, he's taught myself and many others that when you apply yourself and work hard, anything is possible. I myself have a great respect for Steve Prefontaine. And I first learned about him when I was younger, uh, when I watched the uh, biopic film Without Limits and also did more research about him later on in my running career when I wanted to learn about great runners. He truly is inspiring and is considered one of the best American runners ever. Now, Steve Prefontaine will be remembered for many qualities. Uh, today we'll be discussing three qualities that I admire most about him and why I'm making a tribute towards him today. Now, these three qualities are his gutsiness or gutsy. He was relentless and how inspiring he was. Um, now, let me begin by explaining his first admirable quality. Now, the first quality of being gutsy, it gutsy pretty much means how tough or strong someone is. And one moment in Steve's life that exemplifies his gutsiness is the 5,000 meter race in the 1972 Olympics in Munich, Germany, or in the Munich Olympics. Uh, the goal, his goal going in was to win, obviously, and he wanted to close his last mile in sub four minutes. Now, why is this gutsy? Why is this something that's considered tough? Because that's not an easy thing to do when you've already run two miles to commit to doing something really hard. Now, he did get close to this. He ran a, a 404 last mile, and it was really hard and got fourth. But regardless of the finish, he proved to everyone that day that he was a tough runner that was willing to go after it regardless of the odds. He was also known for being an aggressive front runner. This is something that is an extremely gutsy way of running. It's where you lead the whole race the entire time and push yourself to the absolute limit. You have no one pacing you. You're just pushing yourself. And in running, this is a very hard strategy. I know myself, who I, I know for me, I'm a runner uh, and I run in college and it's very difficult to leave from the front the entire time. I, I work well pacing off of each other and running a fast pace by yourself is extremely hard. He was basically pulling the entire race. He was a pacer that never lost. And now that we've talked about how gutsy he is, let's talk about how he was so relentless. Steve Prefontaine was extremely relentless. Uh, a quote that exemplifies his relentlessness was, somebody may beat me, but they're going to have to bleed to do it. This is pretty much saying, you may be able to beat me, but you're going to have to work extremely hard and push yourself to the very limit in order to beat me. And I think that's something that shows how relentless he was. He wasn't gonna just give up easily. You're going to have to work to beat him. All considered, you could see why so many people love Steve Prefontaine and still look up to him today. Steve Prefontaine was truly inspiring and he's considered one of the greatest American distance runners of all time. And one, one thing that made him inspiring was how he fought for the rights of many athletes, track athletes back in the day when the AAU was the where most athletes resided. It's the Amateur Athletic Union. And he wanted to get paid as an athlete because many athletes didn't back in the day. And his goal was to get many track athletes paid like they are today. And he was a huge pioneer in all that. That's why he's so inspiring. Finally, his legacy has continued to impact myself and many others in the running world. Steve Prefontaine inspired us all to be gutsy and relentless. And he's taught me and others to give our best in everything we do and whatever we're passionate about and to sacrifice and to never sacrifice our potential. I'm very thankful that I learned about Steve Prefontaine because he's taught me how to live 
my best life possible. Thank you.